thought I'd just do a very quick update on these chargers and 437 watts it's pretty good 435 watts and 421 so that's a total of what are we so about 16 amps coming in so I must say I'm quite impressed and it's been sitting there quite happily on that for the last little while in fact this has actually just bumped up to 440 so it's obviously a good day for um, these controllers today and for the solar panels so this one here's got a got two 250 watt solar panels on it and we're getting pretty close to that um, that 500 watts only 50 watts out which is pretty impressive given that um, it's still in the morning the the sun isn't directly on the panels perfectly um, it's not the best day for sunlight um, but they seem to be doing pretty damn well um, far higher than I would expect to be honest that one's climbing up as well and we're just about over 17 amps oh just click down look at that 1330 watts that's pretty good so these charges are going pretty well um, and yeah fairly happy in fact this is actually almost up to it's still climbing I wonder how high it will actually go will it break the 6 amp mark come on you can do it I can hear a bird mucking around on the roof which isn't helping yeah and everything's kind of dropping a bit down now oh. Yeah, so anyway, just a quick little update on these um, these solar charge controllers. So far, fairly happy. They've been going pretty well, and the, the, they're quite flexible with the charging, obviously, with the voltages I am, with the um, internal boost converter. But the, um, yeah, fairly happy. A bit of an update, and thanks guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and I'll see you in the next video.